Hi everyone and welcome back to the fourth video for USD's robotics competition. In this video we'll demonstrate how to install the electrical connections and sensors. Let's get started. First we must install the servo and encoder cables. Here's the front of the robot, here's the back of the robot, and this is the left side and the right side. Here are the two encoder cables that we have ran and labeled the right encoder. First let's plug this one in. The right encoder goes to pin 15 up here and be sure that the black cable is facing uh, towards the inside of the robot and is lined up with the ground. So we installed that and the left encoder goes to right next to it in pin 14. Next we simply have to install the servo cables and we have these routed, we have the right one labeled and it goes to pin 13. Again make sure that the black cable is towards the inside. And the left servo goes into pin 12. It's also important to make sure that you don't have any batteries installed during this step or this plugged in. Using the 20 kilo ohm resistors shown with, with the red line, black line, then an orange line on them, we must connect sockets P14 and 15 to the 3.3 voltage. We're doing this to match uh, the encoders that we installed both on pin 14 and 15. All you need to do is simply, you can bend it a little and just push it into P15 for one resistor. And the other side up here into the 3.3 volt slots. Same with the next one from P14 again to the 3.3 volt slots. Next, make sure that you have the P12 and P13 port shut jumper set to VIN and for 14 and 15 it is set to just 5 volt. And then finally, we're going to install the batteries. And plug in this barrel cable. And you can mess with how you're routing all your wires and attach them as necessary. And the initial electrical connections are complete. All right, now we're going to show you how to attach the whiskers. These are used for touch navigation. The first thing you'll want to do is loosen these two screws just a little bit so we can slide these washers up and down. Now one of the whiskers is going to go underneath the washer on this side and the other one will go above the washer on that side. That way they're on two different planes and they don't hit each other. So you're going to want to lift up this washer just a little bit, slide that underneath, and then screw the screw back down into place. Do the same thing with the other one, but this one goes on top of the washer. So slide that in on top. Screw that screw back into place. All right, so after we've attached our whiskers, we're going to hook our three pin headers onto the breadboard. And it doesn't matter exactly what row they go in as long as wherever you push them, 
they'll get hit by the whisker when the whisker is moved. So you can put both of those in there. Once you have those in, you take a 10 kilo ohm resistor, which is the brown, black, orange, and you hook it to one of the 3.3 volts, and then hook that to the hole right next to your three pin headers. And you'll do that for both of them. After that, take the 220 ohms, which are red, red, brown, and attach them from P7 and P8 into the holes right next to where your 10 kilo ohm were. Now an important thing to note when you're using the whiskers is that even though if it bumps into something on the left side of the robot, it will register with the right servo. So keep in mind that your left will register with your right and your right will register with your left. And they'll show up at P7 and P8 in your programming. Next, we'll be installing the ping sensor. For this, you'll need your ping sensor, a red and black wire, and then a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, which is a red, red, red resistor. So the first thing you'll want to do is put the ping sensor onto the breadboard. You'll just center it on top and press it down. And then if you look at the front of the sensor, it is labeled, so it tells you which one goes to the ground and which one goes to the 5 volt and which one to hook the resistor to. Um, we'll hook up the ground first. So the ground will go from the right pin and then put that one to the ground. The middle pin is the 5 volts, so we'll hook from the 5 volts, from the middle pin to the 5 volt. And then the resistor goes to the left pin. So you'll hook the left pin to P8. And that's how you install the ping sensor. This is an example of the robot using the ping sensor. Now we'll be showing you how to install the infrared LED sensors. For this, you'll need two receivers, two LEDs in their casings, two 220 ohm resistors, which are the red, red, brown, two one kilo ohm resistor, which is brown, black, red, and various other wires. First, let's place the LED lights into their black casings. For this, all you need to do is put the light down so that the prongs come out the other end. If the light doesn't click into place, take it back out, turn it around, and put it back in the other way so the other prongs are on the other sides. But it should click into place, and then you just put the cap on top there. They also recommend putting a piece of tape around here just to hold it in place. And then do the same thing for the other one. Now we'll be installing the receivers and the LEDs onto the breadboard. We'll start with the LEDs. Make sure that the longer pin is always on the left. So you put this one on the side, long on left, and then you do the same with the other one on the other side, long still on the left. And then you can bend those forward so they're facing forward. And then we'll put the receivers in. They start in the row right next to the LEDs and one back. 
So starting in the third row, one back. Make sure that the receiver light is facing forward, or the receiver is facing forward. Now we'll be attaching the resistors. We'll want to attach one resistor to each, to the sensor, and one resistor to the receiver. We'll start with the one going to the sensor. You'll need a brown, black, red, so one kilo ohm resistor. And we're attaching it from P11 to the long pin, which is the left one, on the sensor. So from P11 to the long pin on the sensor. Then you'll need a red, red, brown, which is the 220 ohm resistor. And we're attaching that from P10 to the right pin of the receiver. So from P10 to the right pin of the receiver. And then you'll repeat that process for the other side, making sure that you attach to the left pin of the sensor and the right pin of the receiver, going into P1 and P2. Now we'll be attaching the rest of the wires. We'll want to supply the receiver with 5 volts. So we use a red wire, plug it into the 5 volts side, and then attach it to the left pin of the receiver. Now we need to connect the receiver with ground. So we'll plug that from the middle pin of the receiver and wire that one over to the ground. Now we'll use a blue wire to connect to the digital analog switch and the LED sensor. So we'll run from the right pin of the LED sensor to the DA over here, and it doesn't matter if you plug it into the zero or the one. And then you'll repeat that process for the other side as well. Stay tuned for more videos, and we can't wait to see you on the campus of the University of South Dakota on April 8th.